Good day everyone, welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners and how to make our pets happier. Join us. Today we will talk about Top 5 Best Dog Toy All mammals love to play, that's one of the first instincts in their lives. By playing, we develop the necessary skills for living. It's the same with our beloved dogs. They need a game, and through it, we can easily train them, and better adapt them to life in human society. So, we and our dog will be happy in the coming years of our friendship. Dogs are extremely intelligent animals, and also enjoy learning through play. There are many toys on the market. They are all good. But today we will show you some basic ones. Accessible to everyone and cheap. Which sure, your dog will adore. Stay tuned and find out. What is 5 inexpensive toys that you didn't even know you already owned? Toy number 5. Playing with other dogs. Dogs are social animals and should be socialized from day one. We all know fact. When we bring a puppy home, they will cry and look for their brothers and sisters at first. This will pass in a few evenings when the dog gets used to it. Be there for your dog during that time. Now that he is separated from his family you are all he has. Dogs need to get used to the company of other dogs and play with them, what they are happy to do and love. With a dog that is used to others, you will not have problems in park when meeting other dogs, and your life will be more beautiful and better. Because a dog that is not socially adapted is a real nightmare for itself and its owner. Such dogs usually do not end well, and it is by no means the dog's fault, but ours. Immediately let your dog socialize with other dogs and animals in your home, with the neighborhood dogs, in walks, and in dog parks. Of course under controlled and safe conditions. Be ensure that your dog learns basic social skills as a puppy. Toy number 4. Plush toys. We all know how much dogs love to nibble things, especially pups. So that your slippers and expensive sneakers don't end up like this, provide your dog with plush toys. You will find many of these toys in pet shops. But if you can't afford them, even old children's toys are a good solution. The only things you have to pay attention to are buttons and other small parts that the dog can swallow, which is by no means good for his health. Take them off and think about your dog's safety. Think of a dog as a baby exploring the world with its mouth. Your dog will not mind that the toy is not new and branded. Toy number three, wooden stick. Good old stick. Most famous and the oldest toy for dogs in the world. There is hardly a dog that does not like to chase after a thrown stick. Of course, pay attention that the wood from which the stick is made is not poisonous and does not have thorns on it. If the dog eats part of the stick, he will be okay because it is natural and ecological. Throw a stick to your dog from time to time and with a little effort, he will begin to return it to you. Toy number two. A ball. It's hard to have a dog that can resist the sound and image of a rolling ball. It is irresistibly reminiscent of prey that would be hunted in nature. Their instincts are stronger than anything else. Balls of all sizes are acceptable. Your dog will choose the one that suits him best. You only take care that the ball is not too small so that the dog would not swallow it. It's also important that they don't easily nibble it and eat the plastic parts. With the right ball, your dog will have hours and hours of fun playing. Toy number one. You are. We all know that a dog is a man's best friend but also reversed. Dogs are extremely attached to their owner. They will love all family members. But you will be special to them. Dogs like to spend time with us walking, playing, and training. Or with us on the couch in front of the TV. You can learn many things that you will be able to do together with your dog. Be creative, always find time for your dog, and devote yourself to playing with him. Your dog needs this extremely, and it has been shown that it is also good for your health. We feel happier and spend some time in nature. What could be wrong with that? No matter which of these ways of playing with your dog you choose, you will not go wrong. We advise you to use them all. You and your pet will be happy. Did you like today's episode? Did we remind you of some things you already knew? What is your pet's favorite game and toy? Tell us in the comments. This way we can all learn more together. So we can provide our pets with the quality life they deserve. That would be all for today's lesson. Join us in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe and like. 
Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets, and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.